Behind me, brothers and sisters, is a staple store. This is where the PMG wants to send your jobs, but without you. And this is where he wants to send the services of the American people without accountable, qualified postal clerks who are bound under code of ethical conduct to protect the sanctity, security, and the privacy of the mail. Both is a bad deal. It's all privatization. That's why the shirt says, stop staples. The U.S. mail is not for sale. Well, hello, sister and brother postal workers. This is Mark Dimenstein, president of the American Postal Workers Union, AFL-CIO. And over the last few months, uh, ever since we launched our campaign to stop the transfer of our work to Staples and what we call a dirty deal between the Postal Service and Staples, the Postmaster General has taken numerous opportunities to put out some propaganda that he's forced you to look at in your break rooms and at work, uh, telling his side of the story, but his side of the story, sisters and brothers, is not the truth. Another thing I need to con convey to people is the whole idea of privatization of the organization. There's no interest in privatizing. Not privatization? Who is PMG Donahoe kidding? Last time we checked, Staples is a private chain of 1,600 stores, pays lousy wages and lousy benefits, and is interested in the bottom dollar to the point that they had to pay $42 million in fines for wage theft of, the, of their own employees. So when the PMG says he's not interested or intending to privatize, the Staples deal is an opening salvo, a big time nationwide salvo on privatizing the retail services of the Postal Service. So what's happening is that right now, there's, as many of you know, there's 82 stores in a pilot program that have Staples stores that have post offices within them basically providing full services. Now, the Postmaster General claims this is just to enhance the, the customer experience and make it easier for the customer to get access to postal business. But guess what, brothers and sisters? We have an internal document that says that's a lie. It's an internal document from the United States Postal Service that we got in a hearing of the National Labor Relations Board. And in there, the truth comes out. And what the post office said is the pilot, and that's referring to the pilot program at Staples and beyond, because they, the post office plans to do this if they get away with it, with other retailers. But this is the quote, the pilot will be used to determine if lower costs can be realized with retail partner labor instead of the labor traditionally associated with retail windows at post offices. So that's the truth, brothers and sisters. They want our decent jobs, our living wage jobs, our union jobs, and they want to transfer it over. They want to privatize it and transfer it over to stores like Staples. We want to make sure that the workers, through decent wages, decent benefits, and union jobs, have the dollars that we need, and the people of this country have the services that they deserve. And that can only be done in the right way by postal workers, with postal workers, and in post offices. Do not let people get you confused about you know, issues about privatization. It's the PMG and the United States Postal Service Management that wants to privatize that is actually confusing you. And guess what, brothers and sisters, already we recently found out that in California, in the area that some 30 pilot programs are already in place, they're now shuttering post offices earlier in the evening. Instead of staying open to 6, now they're staying open till 5, then it's going to go to 4 and so on. So the postmaster is right. Don't be confused, but don't be confused by him. We are not in the same position as Canada and Great Britain and Germany where they've had privatization or they've had to make big, big operational changes like no more door delivery across the whole country. Now there's another PMG Donahoe Zinger in sworn testimony from a postal official named Brian Code before the National Labor Relations Board and he's the manager of retail alliances, of all things, and he actually stated that the Postal Service, prior to deciding to do the Staples deal, studied those very countries that have gone to postal privatization or partial postal privatization on the retail side. The truth is, brothers and sisters, that the United States Postal Service studied the postal services of other countries that have been privatized or partially privatized 
as part of developing their plan to privatize retail operations through deals like the Staples deal. That's the truth. So the idea that, that somehow or another we're taking jobs away and that Staples is, 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 is supplanting the Postal Service, there's no intention that way. Not taking jobs away, sisters and brothers? What else can happen? Hours are being reduced in post offices, services are, good, services are being cut back, and customers are being told to go to Staples. How can that not take jobs away? We cannot be in a position as an organization where we're out there saying we don't want a customer. The APW wants more customers. And that's why we're demanding with the other postal unions and many people in this country that the Postal Service expand services and meet the needs of the people of this country in new ways, whether it's through licensing, notary, basic banking, expanded hours, and expanded services. So if the PMG is talking about that we need customers, he needs to put his money where his mouth is. But the post office actions are driving customers away day by day. Service is diminished. People are getting mail at 8, 9 o'clock at night. Stations are being closed earlier. And meanwhile, the Postal Service has put signs on the doors at post offices in Northern California where they're cutting back hours and then sending people to staple stores that are nearby to the traditional post offices. No signs say, go to Staples. That's the truth. If the PMG wanted you to know the truth, then the union would not be getting documents like this. This is the actual document that the post office sent us between Staples and the United States Post Office. All the relevant information, sisters and brothers, is blacked out. Sisters and brothers, the APW, the American Postal Workers Union, the other postal unions, and, and all of you have stood up strong against this Staples USPS dirty deal. And we're getting to Staples. We're getting the message out there. And so expect that you're going to hear many more or be forced to view many more of these messages from, from the PMG. As you are forced to come into your break rooms and watch these videos of a PMG that comes across as a perfectly pleasant fellow, understand that he wants your job and he's about privatizing your job and the United States Postal Service. So beware, be ready, be strong, and we're going to carry on and win so that the people have the kind of service they deserve in this country and we the postal workers have the kind of jobs that we deserve in this country. Thank you sisters and brothers.